What do you see when you look at this piece of paper? If you're like most people, all you focus on is the black dot. And this is one of the main reasons why so many people struggle with anxiety, with doubt, with worry, and they can't seem to break free from certain limitations, conditions, and situations in their life. Because the black dot here represents what they focus on. You see, the black dot is the problems, the worry, the limitation, the things they don't have, the things they want, the thing that escapes them, the person, people, place, the money, the impact that they want, or whatever it is that they don't like in the day-to-day -day life. And most people have a habit of focusing on the black dot. And so what happens is that as you focus on those black dots in your life, you miss out on everything else because where you give your attention is where you give your energy and this is where you give life to more of those experiences for example you may be going right now to this day and you have a great day nothing is necessarily you know, wrong or bad or ugly it's just like a normal day in your life but your focus has been on that one thing outside that happened or that you know, a little bit of cloudy day or that economy things that you saw on the news or that one thing that is just messing up your thoughts, your mood, and polluting your state of consciousness. When everything else in your life right now is actually going well. And this is actually so relatable because we have a tendency, the ego has a tendency of taking things personally, of making us feel like victims. Somebody looks at me, this is happening, people didn't respect me, my boss didn't say that, my wife didn't say that, my boyfriend didn't do that. All these type of things that happens all around us, our ego likes to take it personally and to create a story, a narrative. And so what happens is that we focus all our attention on that and instantly it shapes our perception, it shapes the way we feel, our behaviors, and one thing leads to the others. And a lot of people are looping day after day, looking for more black dots in their life. And they do that unconsciously simply because they're not aware of how much damage this do in your life but you also have to realize that everything else is also available to you right now you see even though there is a black dot and if you look at your life you'll always find one if you look for it you'll find it if you cannot find it you'll create it in your mind in some worst case scenario imagination but everything else is also equally present right now so if you simply stop step back and choose consciously to look at everything else around the black dot, all that whiteness, all the things that are working for you, all the things that are happened, the progress you're making, the little things, the big things you can appreciate, or everything else that is just great in your life right now. As you start to focus on that, this is the key. I really want to pause here and insist that this simple shift in perception is a shift in your reality in one of the deepest possible ways, because as you consciously change what you focus on all the time meaning every time your mind goes back to that dot and you're like no 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 let me go back and let me find something better to focus my attention let me focus on the abundance the prosperity the luck the health the people the things that i have in my life right now what's going to happen as you do that is that you're going to start giving your energy to those things people places and when you give your energy there it will grow it will grow and wherever you stop giving that old energy it will fade away because those things only stay alive in your life because you feed it with your focus with your thoughts you speak about it you gossip about it you bitch about it you cry about it you keep it alive in your life through your focus so the best thing you can do is to acknowledge what is and then to start to focus on the solution instead of focusing on the problem. Because if you keep on focusing on the problem, you won't be finding the solution because all you're looking at, all you're thinking about is the problem. <laughs> and it's one of the biggest pitfalls that I see with all of my clients. But this requires you to pay attention to your thoughts, to your mind, to where is my attention going on, on, on your autopilot because your mind has a way, a natural way, a habitual way right now of focusing on things in your life. You've trained it a certain way and it's been doing it for you. Every time you're not paying attention, you have a different way of 
focusing on certain things. And it's critical for you to start observing and take a day of your life and be like, what did I focus on mostly today? When you're not paying attention, where does your attention, where does your focus go on autopilot? This is where you need to take back the control and shift away from the black dot into the whiteness, into the gratitude, the appreciation, the love, the goodness, all the good things, all the other things you can focus on. And that alone will dramatically shift your energy. Not only that, but you'll start to see that your life is not as bad as you imagined it to be, as you created it to be, as you focused it to be. Because remember, your focus determines your reality. You will never have a happy, fulfilling, loving, abundant life is if all you can see and all you focus on and all you pay attention to is the black dot. Because things would be because things could get better and better and better. And all you'll do is find more things to piss you off, get worried and anxious. And you will never appreciate what actually happened. And what will happen only is more of those manifestations simply to perpetuate your current state of consciousness. So my invitation for you is to pay attention on a day-to-day -day basis. Where does my focus go on autopilot? Where do I victimize myself? Where do I blame, criticize, feel like a victim, feel powerless? What do I use and feel like this is happening to me? Life is happening to me. And start pivoting that and you'll see how powerful this can help you bring more positive experiences, but also will make you feel so much better about yourself and your life. That's it guys, let me know what you think about this video. I will see you next time. As always, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more of this type of videos. I'll see you next time, be well.